This video is brought to you by StoneAgeGamer.com, a fantastic site for retro games, systems, accessories, and more. Be sure to check out StoneAgeGamer.com. Skip it a button, that up. So this shout out goes to YouTube user Broken Games HD. I'll have a link to his channel below in the description. Make sure you check it out. And apparently, Angry Joe Vargas from the Angry Joe Show here on YouTube got into a fallout with IGN editor Dan Stapleton on Twitter a couple days ago regarding Angry Joe's Titanfall review. Dan's beef with Joe was regarding this little segment in Angry Joe's review of Titanfall. Take a look. I'm surprised this game is getting such high scores, you know, and major outlets. Believe the hype. 10 out of 10. 9 out of 10. When such glaring omissions! It seems wrong more aren't mentioning them. It, you know, you only find it in user comments or user scores. So Dan's problem with that little segment from Angry Joe's review is that they didn't give, IGN I should say, didn't give the game a 9 out of 10. They gave it a 8.9 out of 10 because that's a huge difference. And obviously if you look at how Joe's talking in that video, he's just saying in general different outlets are giving Titanfall a 9 out of 10 and a 10 out of 10. And on top of it in the background, Dan, he had a screen cap of your review saying 8.9. So he didn't screw up or exaggerate what IGN said at all. He said exactly what you guys said. It's right in the friggin' video. Dan also had a problem with Angry Joe's review because he said that IGN never said believe the hype when it came to Titanfall. Well, Dan, if IGN didn't say that, you may want to give EA the memo because, yeah. Uh, can we see that again, please? Yeah, that definitely looks like they're quoting IGN. You may want to tell them to take that out of the commercial, Dan. Pro tip. So, yeah, look, I don't have a hat in either ring here. I haven't worked for Blister Thumbs or that guy with the glasses since 2011. It's been years. So, I have no affiliation to that guy with the glasses or Blister Thumbs. So, I'm not white knighting anybody. But Dan Stapleton from IGN was way over the top, and there was no reason for him to attack Angry Joe. <laughs> I mean, there was a screen cap of the IGN review right in Angry Joe's review of Titanfall. He didn't misrepresent anything. So, Dan, there was no reason for you to start attacking him on Twitter. Now, on the flip side, and I'm not going to go like all out on Dan Stapleton here, because of what I do on YouTube, I understand why people just fucking lose it sometimes. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there, especially you guys who aren't content creators, I get a lot, you know, Rich, you're too sensitive. And I know you guys also say it to other content creators on YouTube, you're too sensitive. If you can't handle this, then, you know, you need to find a new line of work. Okay. You know, I, I get it. You're, you're, you know, you, if you think we're here doing all this, we have to be able to take it. But the thing is, it's not about being sensitive. I don't give a shit. I get ins insults day in and day out because of what I do. You're a fat piece of shit. Go kill yourself. Stop doing what you do. I hear every insult imaginable. You name it, I've heard it before. I'm not sensitive about that. I don't get insulted. I really don't give a shit about insults. But I think the thing that frustrated Dan and why he went wrongfully all out on Angry Joe with this is that what frustrates me as well, and I'm sure this is what happened with Dan, is that people assume things about you. And I'm sure because he works for IGN, people are like, oh, I bet they just get paid to say games are good. Which, whether they do or not, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going into that conspiracy theory right now. Who knows? Maybe they do, maybe they don't. That's a different video. I've talked about that with my Am I a Gaming Journalist video before too. But it must get frustrating when you hear the same things, especially when they're not true, I hear shit about me all the time, you know, that's not true. And you just lose it because people put words in your mouth and tell other people you're doing things for motivations that you're not being motivated by. And maybe that's what made Dan snap. It maybe just Angry Joe was in his crosshairs that day when he was just trying to pick off someone else and Joe just happened to metaphorically walk by. You do get frustrated with things when people constantly accuse you of things saying yo you're just doing this for this or oh you know you just review games that you know companies pay you to review and it probably frustrates him 
you know, whether it's true or not that, you know, IGN gets paid to, you know, gets paid out by certain companies here and there to review a game, I don't know. It may not be true. It may be true. But maybe that's what made him snap because sometimes you just get so damn frustrated with people that you go off. It's not that you're sensitive. You're just tired of people thinking they know more about you than you do. I know where he is coming from. It happens to me all the time. So Dan and Joe apologize to each other via direct message on Twitter. It's over. I just, as much as Dan was in the wrong with this, I can kind of relate to where he's coming from. That's why I wanted to talk about this. And yes, this is Titanfall footage. I ran out of Call of Duty footage. So two different games in one video. There you go. All right, folks, make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And if you have an interesting news story you would like me to discuss, private message me with a link via YouTube. And if I use your news article, I will give you a shout out in the video and feature your YouTube channel in the description. Have a good one.